Christensen Farms is able to raise and market over 3 million pigs annually. These pigs are harvested at several primary pork processing facilities, including plants Christensen Farms has ownership in, which are Triumph Foods, located in St. Joseph, Missouri, and Seaboard Triumph Foods, located in Sioux City, Iowa. Ownership in primary pork processing is an important component of Christensen Farms' integrated strategy. Triumph Foods first opened in 2006 and is now owned by five pork producers, including Christensen Farms. Seaboard Triumph Foods, also known as STF, opened in September of 2017. STF is owned by the Triumph Foods Producer Partners and Seaboard Foods, another U.S. integrated pork producer. Primary processing is the first step in harvesting the meat. Fresh and frozen pork products like loins, butt roasts used for pulled pork, St. Louis and baby back ribs, and picnic roasts are packaged at the processing facility and are shipped directly to customers. Other products like bacon and hams require an additional step before they are ready to ship to grocery stores and restaurants. Christensen Farms' ownership in these primary pork processing businesses is just another level of integration within the pork supply chain, or in simpler terms, the farm-to-fork model. Pigs are ready to go to market when they reach approximately 285 pounds, or six months of age. At this stage, they are safely loaded into a live haul trailer and transported to a primary pork processing plant like Triumph Foods or STF. The trailers are specially designed to ensure the comfort and proper ventilation for the pigs during transporting events, from the warm summer months to the frigid Midwest winters. Once the trailer reaches its destination at Triumph Foods or STF, the pigs are unloaded from the trailer. As they enter the facility, the pigs are tattooed with a special ID to ensure each animal can be traced back to its farm of origin. After the pigs are safely unloaded, they are calmly moved to pens where they are given time to rest with ample access to water. After two to four hours, pigs have cooled down from their journey from the farm. This is an important step prior to harvest to ensure excellent, high-quality pork. Once the pigs have had ample time to rest, the beginning of the harvest process begins with stunning, which means humanely bringing the pigs to an unconscious state. Once unconscious, the animals are killed and moved to the next stage of the process where skilled workers begin to prepare the carcass to be broken down further into different meat cuts. USDA inspectors check animals and their internal organs throughout various stages of the harvest process to ensure the animals are healthy and comply with food safety requirements. After this stage, the pigs are moved through a blast chiller, followed by a holding cooler, where the carcasses will be stored for 24 to 48 hours before being moved to the cut floor. Once on the cut floor, trained employees use special machines and knives to cut the carcass into sections, such as hams, bellies, and other products. Those pork products will either be exported further processed or packaged and sent directly to grocery stores and food services such as restaurants for families to buy across the U.S. and the globe. At primary processing and packing facilities like Triumph Foods and STF, USDA's Food Safety and Inspection Service oversee and are responsible for ensuring humane handling and harvest of livestock every day. And at every step, the skilled teams at Triumph Foods and STF work hard and are committed to helping Christians and Farms fulfill our mission. By harnessing the competitive advantage of our uniquely connected food system, we can create the most sought-after pork products for a diverse set of global consumers.